Congratulations. Uh, Thank you. Just take us through uh, the race plan six, six, today. Obviously, every time point. you go out there, you have this weight of expectation. Four. We want to see you do something there. spectacular. Uh, how do you feel? Block all that out and just That's execute the your race plan. Pace. Yeah, I mean, um, I just really have put everyone else's expectations kind of off to the side, and I'm just focusing on myself for sure. Um, my, my strategy coming into the, into the race was, um, I knew the first lap would play out for itself. Um, the second lap, I just wanted to stay as consistent as possible, hitting 34, 34 for each 200. Um, third lap, I wanted to cut down each uh, 100, and then fourth lap, just all out. Um, so yeah, I honestly, I think I did pretty well executing the plan. Um, it wasn't the exact time that I wanted, um, but I know I have I have plenty of time to get that record, and records don't come easily, so it definitely uh, definitely wasn't a loss today. It was uh, it was a win uh, mentally, just because of um, how positive I stayed, which was the goal, like I said, um, and yeah, a win physically, obviously. So yeah, it was good. For you, obviously running against a great team, that's going to add a lot of things to you. Did you notice that anybody was trying to do anything differently than maybe you've seen previously when you run against talented runners like that? They know you like to get out. They know that's part of your game plan. Did you feel like people were kind of coming at you harder? Or for you, was it just blocking out and just doing what you Yeah, it's funny, actually. I think the first 800... I don't know who was behind me, but they just kept clipping my my toes. So I was like, I mean, if you're this eager to get up here, uh, I kind of I kind of looked back and I was like, kind of gonna move out the way so they could go. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think it was pretty normal. Um, and they stayed with me and pushed me uh, through 800, which was which was really good. And um, yeah, very happy to be racing against them for sure. Now obviously we're about roughly midway through the season. Obviously still a long way to go to get where, where you want to be. Yeah. In terms of fitness, um, where are you right now? How do you feel? And what will the second part of, of your season look like as you get ready for CIF competition? Yeah, my, my training uh, right now is, is pretty crazy. Um, I think I'm on the right track for sure. Um, like my coach said uh, earlier in the week, he said, I have hard work in my legs and I'm lingering around the PRs, so they're destined to, uh, to be broken. And I'm very excited. I think towards the end of the season, I uh, will be, will be um, beating the times from, from my last uh, postseason from last year. So, yeah, very excited. Excited to see it again. Sadie Mingo Hart, Ventura High School, 436, 26 here in the mile, U.S. number one. Congratulations. Looking forward to seeing you later on down the line. Thank you. <laughs>